debilitating and painful, certainly no news to anyone who suffered from a migraine, but for the first time, we now have a clearer picture of what causes them. Is Helen Wellings with a groundbreaking study and the device providing relief. Nausea, vomiting and a hammering in the head. <sighs> A bad migraine is like a headache times 10. I've been hospitalised twice for my migraines. They've gotten to that point. At one point, they thought I had MS or a brain tumour. One in seven will get a migraine in their lives. But for some, like Emma, they come back to haunt. Two weeks of paralysis and pain. Loss of use of my hands, my legs and my feet, and blindness in the peripheral vision. Now, Australian scientists have co-led the biggest study of migraines ever. The numbers are mind-bending in themselves. 60,000 patients across 12 countries. As has often been suspected, a genetic link's been confirmed. And not everybody, just because I've got a relative, suffers migraine will also have migraine, but we definitely know you've got an increased risk. But the real breakthrough is this. All evidence now suggests migraines are caused less by a problem with the nerves in the brain and more by the blood vessels around them. Could also so then explains where if you have migraine you've got a slightly increased chance of suffering stroke for example. So apart from medication is there any relief available for migraine sufferers? They're quite nasty, they're headaches that went on like for three days. Katrina Rowe has been using a sci-fi looking medical device with promising results for three years. I'm able to like go out and work a lot more, we used to not have any time off, um, also engage in more um, physical activity. It's called cephaly. It works by sending electrical impulses to the part of the brain which stimulates the nervous system that's responsible for pain relief. I use it every night. Yeah, it runs a 20 minute course and it's actually quite um, relaxing. The cephaly is the only device of its type that has been clinically proven to work, following a world first scientific study in Belgium. There's very good evidence that it has an effect on the nervous system and the, the treatment itself, transcutaneous nerve stimulation, has been around for many, many years and it's been known to be very effective in a whole range of pain conditions. Pain management specialist Dr Len Rose says electrical nerve stimulation is nothing new but the cephaly makes it more accessible and easier to use. It's not going to work for every person who tries it, but for those people in whom it works, it's going to be convenient, it's going to be safe, and it's going to be effective.